pork chop is a North American porcupine. He is found here in North America. He does have fur. That's all the brown that you see. But he also has, what do porcupines have? Anyone know? What are their, their spines called? Quills. Yeah, so all the white things that you see are quills. People often confuse them with hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are more closely related to moles and shrews. Pork chop is in the rodent family, so he's just a big mouse um, with quills. And he does have two front teeth that are constantly growing, so any rodent has to constantly chew so that their teeth um, can be filed down. Else to climb, they are usually found up in trees. They're pretty lazy animals. I, I like to tell the kids that even in the winter time when it's cold out, they don't climb down the tree, they'll just eat their house. So they'll just chew on the wood um, of the tree. They'll also chew on the leaves. And they don't come down to even go to the bathroom. A lot of people know that there's a porcupine in their yard because there's a pile of poop under one branch in the tree. Um, um, we don't go out into the wild and take animals. Zoos are not allowed to do that anymore. So one of the ways we get our animals at the zoo is one, from other zoos, two, from um, animals that have been rehabilitated. So for kids, an animal that was hit by a car that might have a broken arm that can't be released, that's fixed up, but might have trouble in the wild, um, and they go to what's called a rehabilitator. Jerry is actually a rehabilitator, and they take care of the animals. They have a license. If you were to find an animal on the side of the road, it's against the law to try and take care of that animal. By law, you have to um, give it to a rehabber or a facility that can take that animal. Um, and then we